most coaches I know and I was under, especially like Bill Parcells. Yeah. Or Bill, but they're thinking all the way up to the game. They're never satisfied with the work week, with what they have in, and it's just they keep pushing and well, you, pushing. And you mentioned, too, that Parcells had to step away from the game multiple times because he was that oh, obsessive he with his craft. Well, yeah, he couldn't turn it off. Yeah. You know, he lived it, and, hey, <laughs> a, I'll tell a quick story. Yeah, so no, I, I, was, I love your story, well, so his, go. His, so I walk in the locker room. I usually try to be the first guy there because I want to have my time to get settled and get in the room and watch a little film before somebody bothered me. So I walk in there one morning, the door comes open, I look across and Bill Parcells is sitting in our like table in the middle of our locker room yeah. and he's got a cup of coffee. And I don't know, he might've been smoking it. I'm not sure, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but, he, but as soon as I see him, I look and he goes, hey Sims, come here. And I could hear the tone of the voice and I go, oh my God. He goes, hey, how many passes did you complete in practice yesterday? Uh, 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 I'll tell you how many. He, I couldn't even get a word out. Not very many. <laughs> and, just, and now I'm just, oh, God, I'm up so uptight. He goes, you know, I tossed and turned a whole damn night. And my wife says, oh, Bill, what's the matter? You, why can't you sleep? My effing quarterback can't complete a pass. <laughs> <laughs> so this is 730 in the morning. 